Hi, I'm John Murphy with InfoLink Consulting. In this video, the second in the series, I'll show you how to import Cognos BI database data into SPSS Modeler. I've moved to a view of an SPSS Modeler stream. In the first video, we showed how to configure Cognos connection settings and import a Cognos list report. In this video, we'll add another IBM Cognos BI source node and configure it to import Cognos database data. Before we import the data, let's review what types of database data we can import from Cognos BI into SPSS Modeler. We can import relational data, dimensionally modeled relational data, and OLAP data. Let's return to SPSS Modeler. Here, we'll set up a source node to import the Cognos BI database data. From the Sources palette, click and drag an IBM Cognos BI source node onto the stream. I will use this node to source Cognos BI database data. I right-click on the source node and select Edit to edit its settings. This opens the Data tab. I click on the radio button to select Data Mode since I want to import database data not report data. I'm going to click the Edit Connection button to examine the connection settings. The appropriate Cognos BI server connection is selected. The Cognos server URL, this is the external dispatcher URI for the Cognos BI server, is provided. The mode is set to set credentials and my credentials are provided. It's the namespace ID, my username and password. As we covered in the first video, if my BI server was set to accept anonymous connections, I could have selected anonymous connection mode, in which case I would not have needed to provide namespace ID or username and password. Going back to set credentials, click OK to close the dialog. Now I click on the Edit button for location. In my case, the package I will import database data from is stored in the public folders. I will expand on the Samples folder within the public folders and then the Models folder within the Samples folder and select the Go Data Warehouse Query Package and click OK. The Go Data Warehouse Query Package appears in the Content window. Within the Query Package, I will expand the Go Data Warehouse namespace and the HR Query folder. Then I'll expand the Employee Summary Query namespace. I'll be pulling several fields of data from this namespace. First, I'll open the Employees by Region Query subject. Now I'll select some fields to import. I'm selecting the following query items. Branch Region, Country, Employee Name, First Name, Last Name, and Position Name. Now I click on the arrow to add these items to the Fields to Import window. Next, I'll open the Time Query subject. Select the Year Query item and drag it in the Fields to Import window. Then I'll add some query items from the Employee Summary Fact query subject. I open the Employee Summary Query Fact subject and select each of the fields, salary, bonus, percentage, bonus value, vacation days taken, sick days taken, and click the arrow to move the selected fields to the field to import list. Then I'll click on Aggregate data before performing import. Whether or not you need to do this step is dependent on the data. In my case, I want to aggregate to annual data instead of importing monthly records. Now I'll click Preview My Import 
This isn't required, but it's a good practice to do. Looking at the preview, I can see the fields that I requested are present in the preview. Branch region, country, employee name, first name, last name, position name, the year, salary, bonus percentage, bonus values, vacation days taken, and sick days taken. I'll click OK. And click OK to exit settings for the note. Now that I have set up the IBM Cognos BI source node to import Cognos database data, I will connect the node to my stream so that I can use this information for predictive modeling. I right click on the source node, select connect, and then click on the merge node to connect the source node to my stream. The Cognos BI database data is now available to my modeling stream. In the next video in this series, setting up the ODBC data source connection to Cognos BI, you will learn how you can publish SPSS model predictions and other information from SPSS Modeler to Cognos BI. Thanks for watching.